So just before we get into the video, it's Editor Jack here. I just wanted to say throughout the video, like the autofocus was a bit iffy. So like there's like flickers every so often. Um, so it's just like a quick flicker and it goes back to normal. Uh, it doesn't stray from obviously promoting other creators. So again, please follow them all. The issue with the autofocus will be fixed next week. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Editor Diabetes signing off. <laughs> Happy Dafties, so we're back with a brand new video and um, well as you've seen before it is Fit Pick Friday. Thanks for showing the constant love on these like hearting them up, it generally means so much to me. Again the influencers or even just the people in this video go show them love on their Instagrams, their links will be down below. As well as some mental health info that's down there as well as the black card for BLM movement or the Black Lives Matter movement. And if you can't donate to that there is a link to a YouTube video that you can go to and if you watch it the revenue is split between different parts of the BLM movement and money goes to different parts of it. So that was a mouthful. So let's get into the first couple fits right. So first we have at Cruffin underscore with the Travis Scott SB Dunk lows on feet with a pair of wide leg beige pants which look insane with them. Like the Travis Scott Dunks look so good. Like ah, uh, they can be pulled off in so many different ways and they just look so nice and I generally wish I got a pair but I never because what a surprise, Nike sneakers doesn't like me. Finishing it off with the Burberry top, again clean top with just the Burberry spell out. It's nothing too fancy, nothing too out there. Burberry spell out the one color trousers with the SB Dunks as they are the statement here in this fit. Then the background he's got is just like green grass or green artificial grass in the background. It doesn't take too much away from the fit, which is brilliant. Go follow him. Very nice fit. Very nice background as well. Next we have at Junke. Junke. That's probably said wrong. Go go show them support. So starting with the box logo hoodie, the brown with the blue box logo. Oh, this hoodie is so sick, especially with what he styled it with. Then again, you've got like the wide leg crop trousers in the tan colour, which keeps the outfit earth tony. And with obviously just a separate blue on the box logo that tears away from it. But I like the theme he's got here. Then on feet, keeping with the colours of the hoodie and kind of the trousers. And then he's got the blue laces in them, which is a, just such like a minute thing, but it just adds the whole outfit together. It ties back in with the box logo. I mean, again, photo's got Pokemon in it. It's got Lugia, shiny Lugia. Then you've got the blue eyes, white dragon, Pirin, Ur the trees. I love when folk do this to photos, it just adds something else and I keep saying this but it generally does add something else. Even though the background on the photo is nice, this just like tops it and it just like makes it, gives you something else to look at and it piques your interest even more. Not to miss the fact that his hair is blue as well, like full on like stunting it and the outfit looks insane. Please go follow him, go show him support. Next we have at from dot 1994 underscore coming in with the simple reverse weave champion hoodie with a pair of cream trousers and then on bottom pairing it with the night socks and then obviously on feet that are they are so beautiful it's the Jordan 1 low UNC's oh my god I genuinely wish I picked these up at launch and I keep saying this about shoes but I never get them sneakers absolutely hates me like I'm being completely serious like I think they've got something against me they're so nice like in the background Again, doesn't take too much away from the outfit, which is what you want for a fit pick. Insane. Go follow. I keep saying it. Like, that's my catchphrase in this series, but I mean it, like, any support you give any, like, any of the people I show off, like, is so insane. Like, it means so much to me when people actually go check them out, because it's, like, giving my love from my subscribers to someone else, and it just means a lot. Next, we have at Jack Ward 6 with the, with the background I absolutely love. Like, it's done in front of a shutter, but it's got, like, pink flowers painted on it, which matches to his hoodie, which is also a pink hoodie. Then he's got the black beanie on to separate it with the black utility vest as well. So they fit really well together. Then he's got the black cargos on. So he's got a two-tone kind of outfit. So he's got the black or the utility vest, the hat, and the cargos. And then he's got the pink of the shutter, like the flowers, the hoodie, and on feet, the Jordan 1, Cactus Jacks. I'm jealous with the pink laces. Like, you know, he's done it properly. He's, it looks sick. Can't fault this any at, at all. Like, it looks so nice. Again, another shoe I wish I picked up, but sneakers hates me. I'm gonna have to start a, a hashtag or something, like hashtag boycott Nike sneakers or something. Amazing outfit, pulled it off perfectly. The background is insane as well, like, good job follow please. Next we have Lil XMG. I mean if you can kind of understand where I'm going here, own feet, you've got the Jordan 1 low UNCs. Again, they're one of my favourite shoes. Like Jordan 1 UNCs are my all-time grail and the lows are just as beautiful. So I mean I had to put her in right. 
and plus the fit is styling it like it's so sick paired with the white socks and then you've got like a pair of cuffed white trousers i don't can't tell if they're joggers or not but still the colours go really well here. Then you've got the blue top underneath the Louis Vuitton over jacket or overcoat or jacket, whatever you want to call it. The background is very simple as well, which again doesn't draw away from this insane fit. Like the jacket is such a nice piece as well as the shoes. Like I'm jealous. Like I'm I'm gonna be I'm jealous of all these fits because people just style it off so that I wish I had the confidence to do this. But honestly, like amazing. Absolutely amazing. So lastly but not least, we have at Clara. SML, beautiful fit. You've got the blue chill Jordan 1s on feet, then you've got the pair of like dirty grey, dark grey wide leg trousers. Beautiful, the colours go so well together. And I can tell like the statement pieces, obviously the shoes on this outfit as well. But then you've got the Casper Gucci tee, and then you've got the black and blue Nike sweatband, headband, I can't remember what you call it. Styling in a car, like amazing background. Uh, everybody is so, like these outfits have been insane this episode, like please go show love like in every way possible to these creators. It genuinely, like it would mean so much. Like I'm not even bothered if you follow me on Instagram, just go follow them or go support them because these are absolutely insane. If you've not followed my Instagram and you want to do so, if you go to at Jack underscore Nisbet or Diabetes Shoes, they'll be under there. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. It genuinely would mean a lot. Don't forget the black card in the description below as well as the BLM video that you can watch if you can't donate. Mental health info is down there as well. Thank you guys for watching so much. Genuinely, like I mean so much. Like I've had so much support the last couple of weeks and it means so much to me. If you guys want to be entered into next week's episode, remember if you use the hashtags Hashtag streetwear, hashtag fitpics, or hashtag diabetesyt, then you could be featured in next week's episodes. If you want to get featured, hashtag diabetesyt is probably the one to go because that's the one with least people using it because I'm irrelevant. So if you want to be entered, hashtag diabetesyt. Right, thank you guys for everything. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.